What is happening, people? Frank here from inside the garage. Always a busy time. Got cars to fix here today, no doubt about it. Welcome back. I got a Dodge Dart that came in the garage and, you know, it made some funny clicking kind of noise. Going over bumps, not quite breaking. So let's find out what's going on with the Dodge Dart. All right, hold on for a minute. Before you guys have been hanging with our YouTube community, you guys rock. If you're in our neighborhood of Chandler, Arizona, and you're a school teacher, stop by this Saturday. This Saturday, I've got the free oil changes for teachers. This is our fifth year. It's a whole teacher palooza. But August 20th, inside the garage, man. If you're a school teacher, stop on by, get you a nice apple and a free oil change. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll over these speed bumps at a steady speed. And that's when, there it is. I don't know if you guys heard that. Let's go back in reverse and see if we can get that noise to reproduce. And of course, we gotta be careful with the ongoing traffic here. Yes, a little traffic in this complex. Right there, did you guys hear that rattle? right from the front left wheel area. So let's get it back in the garage, pull the wheels, check the undercarriage, find out what's going on with the Dodge Dart. So before we get into the action of getting that car up in the air, I want you guys to always remember to do the research beforehand. Number one, check recalls. Number two, very important people, before you start getting into tearing down into, into any sort of mechanical repairs, remember to check the technical service bulletins and let that be a source for you guys. Before you dive in, make sure you do the research. The very first thing you're gonna do is do a jounce test. Doing your little jounce and bounce test, getting a workout, what you're looking for is any goofy noises that you can hear from the top side. That's the same fact in the back. Now in this case of this Dodge Dart, Struts during that jounce test doesn't appear to be extreme. Now this has got over 100,000 miles on it and they're probably aged from wear and tear from miles. However, they seem to be doing a pretty good job at this point. So we're gonna move on and investigate further. Like one more quick vital step before you get it up in the air and actually undercarriage inspect the vehicle. This Dodge Dart, like many of the uh, strut and strut mount style of suspensions have, you've got a strut mount right here on the top and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna do a quick visual while you're doing that jounce to see if there's excessive movement up here as well as identify any cracking in that rubber. Now listen, if you don't have a garage lift in your backyard, it's cool. Get a floor jack, just be really safe. Make sure you check the owner's manual so you know exactly where to lift that vehicle. Every vehicle will have specific lift points. Once you get the load off the vehicle and you've got it lifted up in the air, very easy. First thing you get any play going side by side. In this case here, we're not seeing a whole lot of play. You can also take from top to bottom and move it up and down to see if you've got any play going in an up and down fashion. So if it feels tight, you should be good to go. You also wanna make sure you do just a complete visual and physically check all the joints. Think of your body, your body has joints. It's the same principle. If you've got excessive play in joints, you're gonna have excessive movement to tires, tire wear, and develop noises. Our next step is to pull the wheels and check the braking system. All right, so not so much with this Dodge Dart, but if you've got a vehicle and you've got the rim and you've got a center cap, a lot of times it's a simple fix. It's the actual center cap that is making noise or the hubcap seat. So make sure you check those simple things. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, when we went over those speed bumps, we did hear quite a bit of a clacking and a clunk, and it wasn't when we stepped on the brake, it was just as the vehicle was free coasting at that steady speed. We actually hit those speed bumps a lot quicker, so I don't recommend that. Um, you want to get into an open road area, but that was just a quick way for us to identify the source of that noise. What we did discover is a whole lot of play in this brake caliper assembly between the caliper unit itself and the caliper mount. There's a TSB for the Dodge Dart. I'll have that link down in the comments. That's a big problem, and relatively speaking, not a bad fix. Replace the brake caliper with the new design, and the noise will go away. So let's dive into the teardown of the faulty brake caliper. To grab a little pinching device. You can use a pair of vice grips. Just make sure you put a little extra rubber insulation and you can pinch your brake line so you're not making a complete mess. And more importantly, you don't want to introduce more air than necessary when you have to go bleed the brakes. All right, 
so once you've got your caliper assembly out, separate the caliper mount, mounts up to the hub assembly, remove your bolts, and what you're actually looking at is on this mount itself, these push pins right here, these push pins over time will corrode wear and tear. Now listen, if you're getting a brake service done, they really need to be lubricating these guys and specifically examining for any pitting or corroding with these slides, because what will happen is exactly what we got on the Dodge Dart, and that is excessive play causing that clunk, that rattle, and that almost sounds like a bad strut mount, but in this case, it is definitely updated design for worn caliper slide pins. This is probably the most key and crucial thing that you can do is to check the service bulletin. And by the way, stick with original equipment parts. Buy Dodge, buy Mopar. It's your baby, it's your ride. Take pride, buy the best that you can in quality parts. We're gonna get the updated design caliper on. Get that noise corrected, of course, get that brake rotor nice and resurfaced while we're in there. And this Dodge Dart will be ready to go nice and quiet. You guys rock. We've had a ton of subscribers in the last 30 days and I'm really grateful. If you guys have a need, man, get down in the comments. It's we're one big community. If you got a video you wanna see, really simple. Just tell us what you'd like to see. If you like the video, man, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, it's all good. Give it a thumbs down. I'm Frank from Inside the Garage. You guys rock. Thank you for stopping by.